Once upon a time, there was a baby by the name of Oedipus, son of Laos and Jocasta, the king and queen of Thebes. One day, Laos consulted the oracle of Apollo, who prophesied that any son born to him would kill him. In an attempt to prevent this prophecy's fulfillment, when Jocasta bore a son, she gave the boy to a servant on a nearby mountain. Rather than leaving the child to die, Oedipus was given to several shepherds before he settled down to live in the house of Polypus, king of Corinth and his queen, Mero, who adopted him. Years later, he confronted his adopted parents of the rumors he had heard from people around him. They denied it, but Oedipus went to the same oracle his birth parents consulted. The oracle informed him that he was destined to murder his father and marry his mother. So in, in an attempt to avoid his fate, he decided not to return home to Corinth, but traveled to Thebes. On his way to Thebes, he crossed roads with a chariot driven by his birth father, King Laos. They fought over who would go first, resulting in Oedipus killing his father when the chariot tried to run him over. Continuing on, his, continuing on his journey, he encountered the Sphinx, who stopped all travelers and asked them a riddle. If they answered incorrectly, they would be killed and eaten. If successful, they would be free to continue on. The riddle was, what walks on two feet in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three at night? Oedipus answered, man, as an infant, he crawls on all fours. As an adult, he walks on two legs. And in old age, he uses a walking stick. Oedipus was the first to answer the riddle correctly. And having heard Oedipus' answer, the Sphinx allowed him to carry on forward. Jocasta's brother had announced that any man who could rid the city of the Sphinx would be made the king of Thebes. Um, and given the recently widowed Queen Jocasta's hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> this marriage fulfilled the rest of the prophecy. They had, they had, two, they had four children, two sons and two daughters. Yeah. Many years after the marriage, a plague struck the city. Unaware of what caused this, Oedipus swore to be rid of the polluter. Oedipus learned that the murderer of the former king must be brought to justice, and he himself cursed the killer of his late wife's late of his wife's late husband, saying that he would be exiled. Oedipus sent for Tyra, Tyra Sia, a blind prophet who was widely respected. She warned him not to seek. King Laius' killer, but in, an, in a heated exchange, she was provoked into exposing Oedipus himself as the killer. It was when Oedipus' adopted father was killed, when Jocasta, the queen, finally realized that Oedipus was her son. She so begged him to stop his search for his father's murderer, but Oedipus mistook the motivation, thinking she was ashamed of him. In distress, Jocasta went to the palace and hung herself. Oedipus finally, realized, <laughs> Oedipus finally realized that the man he had killed so many years before at the place where the three roads met was his own father, King Laius, and that he had married his mother, Jocasta. Soon, Oedipus went in search for Jocasta, of Jocasta and found she had killed herself. Using the pin from a brooch he took off of Jocasta's gown, he blinded himself 